We have the pleasure today of having with us Enrique Goñi, who is the uh, president of uh, Caja Navarra, a savings bank in Spain, and also uh, responsible for industrial investments at uh, Caixa Bank, which is one of the largest uh, savings banks in all of Europe, in fact. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Goñi, thank you so much for coming. Thanks. Thanks a lot. My uh, pleasure. Uh, so, uh, given your you know very long experience in the banking sector, in mm -hmm. a key European economy, mm -hmm. um, I would like to begin by asking you uh, a very very general question, which I think a lot of people uh, are wondering about, which is what are the main challenges that the banking sector is facing nowadays? Uh, if you had to choose two or three, which ones do you think are the ones that uh, are uh, at the top of the list uh, in the minds of uh, bankers around the world these days? Well, first of all, well, thank you very much, Mauro. It's my pleasure to be here. Uh, answering, first of all, uh, of course, getting more, more, more and more capital, raising capital. Second, from my point of view, is how to finance the, the, new, the new requirement for IT, uh, technology innovation. And third, one from the sociological point of view is how to rebuild the peace with customers and with society in general. How to get, once again, the confidence, mm -hmm. an a stable confidence. Between the, the banks three. and society. Yes, because the, between the banks and the society, yes. Okay, so these are yes. the, three, the three main challenges facing banks today. Yeah. Uh, putting aside, at least for, for a second, uh, uh, the, the need for more capital, mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned as the second big challenge, uh, finding the, uh, the resources to invest in technology and, uh, and in innovation. Mm -hmm. Which specific areas uh, do you think banks are in most need of uh, investing in, uh, let's say, over the next uh, three or five years? Yeah. Well, first of all, of course, uh, mobile banking. Uh, second could be how to, to make our sourcing. But first of all, to compete better uh, in the markets, mobile banking, how to resolve this. And uh, thinking about the uh, European and the Spanish situation, uh, what new models or what new experiences uh, uh, would you uh, say are the most important taking place right now in the area of uh, mobile banking? Well, the migration from, uh, from the cards uh, to the phones, uh, to the cellular. Uh, we have uh, some virtuous examples in the worldwide, and uh, and European banking uh, have the the, the the whole attention and the uh, and have put the ISIS in this. Okay, so it's replacing old forms of payment for yeah, for new forms right. of uh, of payment. That's right. Uh, do you think that uh, the uh, uh, social, virtual, or digital social networks? Uh, which, of course, people, uh, you know, are increasingly using through their mobile phones. Do you think banks can benefit from this new social technology, which is social networks and, uh, you know, how uh, people's uh, behavior are being, is being affected by what uh, their connected others are doing? Do you think social networks, uh, digital social networks, will have an impact on banking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, from, from the point of view of the banking uh, activity, from the point of view of the bankers, uh, to use the mobile uh, instead of the conventional, other conventional payments uh, models, introducing us uh, a high potential uh, in, in uh, efficiency. Second, the experience tells us that uh, customers uh, use 20% more in the, uh, through the mobile done with, uh, for example, the credit card or the, or the plastics. Mm -hmm. So it's more, uh, much more business and less, uh, less expenses. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. right. So mobile banking is going to make uh, perhaps banks more profitable. Yeah, yeah. Than of, course, of course, of course, of course, of course. That is the idea. Uh, which uh, countries in the world um, do you think are more advanced uh, in terms of the implementation of mobile banking? Well, we have two, uh, two very clear examples. Uh, one is uh, Japan. Uh, Japan is, uh, is the pilot, the, the housing pilot or the model. And uh, Japan is showing us uh, very great examples of getting new efficiency ratios and how people is increasing 
their, their operation and their vinculation with the bank. And in, 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 in other words, and in, uh, in other geography, it could be Kenya. Mm -hmm. uh, Kenya, uh, in the top of the progress Japan, but uh, in the new, new emergence mm -hmm. in Africa, Kenya. Okay, so those would be the, uh, yeah, the yeah, most yeah. Uh, the places to uh, to observe yes, and to, yes, uh, to yes. emulate. Yes, my point of view, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. and uh, uh, at your own uh, bank, mm -hmm. um, what has been the most significant challenge that you faced in terms of using uh, these new mobile technologies uh, for conducting business? What has been the most uh, important uh, obstacle or challenge? Well, uh, two two challenges. Uh, one, one is not, uh, from my point of view, is not uh, problematic. It's how to train the organization and how to train the, uh, the, the, the people, the customers. But I think, I think this, this is going to be uh, easy. Second is how to uh, deal with uh, the IT, how to, uh, to deal with the IT companies, because there are a lot of business to share. And what part is in this size, and what part is in the side of the bank, of course. So are you suggesting that those big uh, benefits or profits that you were referring to a second ago uh, may not only go to the banks, they may also go to the IT providers or maybe the telecom companies? For sure, for sure, for sure. They are gonna, they, they are gonna get uh, a relevant par part of the, of the profit. Uh, they are going to increase they use, they are going to increase that in their turnover, uh, so uh, they are going to ma ma make much more profitable all their investments. Uh, so how to manage with this, and how to deal, and how to negotiate it, what part of this uh, is going to be supported by the banking, bank, uh, banking activity, and what is going to be supported by the ITs uh, or telecom companies, and what part of the turnover can be sure uh, are the, the two deals for the managers. Okay. And uh, what do you think should banks do in order to ensure that they get a uh, you know, sufficient uh, share or a part of those profits? I mean, are there one or two things that banks should definitely do in order to protect their own share of the profits uh, that may be created by mobile banking? Two ideas. Um, first of all, first of all, it's very evident. But uh, first of all, how to uh, protect themselves, uh, both self that uh, you are going to be a telecom company and not a bank, and going to be a bank. How how I'm going to be in my in my side, and how are you going to be in your? Because we are going to build something together very, very uh, relevant and uh, that is going to uh, receive the 70% of the whole transaction worldwide. Mm -hmm. And second, second, who is going to invest? Mm -hmm. Second, who is going to invest? Who is going to put the money, right? Yeah, to make so this who's going to do with the money? Uh, in the infrastructures and uh, for sure in the development. Yeah. Okay. And uh, research and development. Do you think banks should establish um, relationships with several telecommunications operators or providers? Uh, that's one possibility. Or should they uh, instead focus their attention on just one of them and uh, proceed in that way, you know, in order to implement a, uh, a mobile banking applications? What, what is better from the point of view of the bank? If for a long-term relationship, the second. The second, but, uh, but 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 I'm sure that uh, that is is a world that is open, and so the first uh, steps, everybody is going to to talk with everybody. But but uh, I I think that uh, finally uh, you can uh, you can uh, be much more competitive through a wedding, a good uh, a good a good marriage, instead of having. Uh, several relations, hmm? okay? Okay, now you mentioned as a third very important uh, challenge facing banks today, uh, the, uh, addressing the, uh, one of the biggest uh, problems that banks have uh, 
uh, seen since the since the crisis, which is the the, the, the loss of confidence on the part of uh, customers and uh, and uh, regulators, of course, and uh, more broadly society as a whole. So banks have uh, essentially lost uh, uh, quite a bit of faith. They have lost. Yep. Uh, uh, you know, trust. Uh, they have a big deficit, not just in terms of capital, <laughs> yep. but also in terms of uh, confidence. Uh, yep. So what do you think, uh, uh, you know, should banks uh, do uh, over the next, uh, you know, two years or five years in order to rebuild that uh, confidence? Well, um, for sure, there are many, many ways and different responses, different answers. Um, I think I think that uh, one that uh, have in count the full transparency, uh, promote the participation, and uh, and uh, try to consider the customer or the client like something more than this, like uh, something like a citizen uh, could be a, a, a good way. I think I think that the past have shown us uh, a lot of things that we could not repeat. This the, the crisis of confidence is a crisis uh, first of all of transparency, uh, and and it's very 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 difficult to get the the virtues uh, of transparency if there are not participation. I can show you. Uh, an account, and I can show you which are the secrets of these accounts. But if you are not interested in this, I can be very transparent, but it doesn't mind. So be transparent is good, but it's not enough. You have to promote the real interest uh, of the customers in the bank. Uh, because there are something in it for them. Yes, of course. But because they have a role better and higher than the customer. So they have new politician economics or social rights, for example. I think this could be, uh, and this could be the message of the new ways, uh, of, the, of the new time. Uh, People, people don't want to feel like a subject uh, in a in a company. People, people want to to feel they have uh, something relevant to to say and sh something relevant to share with the shareholders. Mm -hmm. So I've seen you say in the past that that uh, you think that uh, the uh, clever companies of the future. Mm. Should be like republics, yeah, yeah. Uh, with citizens, and uh, yeah. and these citizens, of course, include not only customers but also suppliers, and uh, they have rights. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, could you explain a little bit more how do you think this model, uh, you know, should work? What are the different components of this model of the the bank, mm -hmm. right, uh, as a republic, right, yeah. as opposed to just uh, simply as a company that uh, tries to make money? Yeah, All, but, but it could be a bank, it could be another company. The question, this que the question is, uh, having a look at the history, we have an example of free citizens that want to be, much more than anything, citizens. It was Roman Republic. Well, the Romans, they have a lot of troubles, uh, mistakes, etc., etc., etc. But they built something that, during 20 centuries, it was the relevant and the, 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 the core of the world. What, what was the beginning of this? The beginning of this was created for, from the, well, something like a very old condition of citizeness, something brilliant, something that is demanding for everybody. Well, this is an example. Put it into, into the companies, into a bank how to how to to design a bank who is going to be loved loved i said by the customers well the only way the only way is if they have not only a participation a cosmetic participation 
because you answer, uh, you, you make some questions about the product, the quality of the services, etc. No, no, no. It's because they are, they are very close to the key, the key decisions. They want to know, and they want to, to have the, a participation in space in which is the price policy. Why uh, this uh, guarantees? Uh, how how they can uh, concentrate much more products have a low rate. I I mean I mean there are many ways to put your interest as close as the bank or as the company that you even go in defense of this brand. And this is sure, sure, sure uh, interest. And uh, under my point of view, the key question is how to open the ownership and the property rights and share this with the customer having, having in count that the property rights, the shareholders, they always have to uh, something like uh, two, two basic rights. First of all, having the, uh, the, the, capital, the capital gains, and second, having the hounds how you organize a company. But in the middle of this, you can go ahead and put uh, the new formulas like social marketing, CSR, et cetera, et cetera, uh, go ahead of, of this, and open the space to share opinions and to share policies. So why do you think shareholders of a bank uh, would want to support this kind of comprehensive uh, relationship that you're talking about where customers, perhaps even suppliers, participate uh, in, yeah. uh, in the bank? Even why would shareholders want to uh, go well, down? Shareholders to want, or shareholders want to, 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 to increase their capital gains. Mm -hmm. And so if this, if this work uh, work on in this way, uh, for sure the shareholders will be very, very extremely glad, uh, extremely so, happy. So you're essentially predicting that banks or other types of companies that succeed at implementing a model such as this mm -hmm. will gain a competitive advantage over other banks or other yes, companies. Yes, I think so. I, well, I think so. Not because of the banking industry only. I said that this is a message of the new time. Uh, new time is citizeness. New time is you have the access uh, of the full information through the technology. So new time is uh, the world of the companies couldn't be a closed world. Okay. In your own savings bank, Caja Navarra, you have implemented a model that follows uh, these principles. Yeah. Could you just explain so that we see the relationship between the third challenge about uh, you know, confidence, its relationship to the second challenge with those technology. What role does technology play in your bank yeah. uh, when it comes to uh, helping customers participate yeah. Yeah. Right, in the yeah. bank? Well, uh, this is a capital, a capital role, a fundamental role. It's impossible, it's impossible to promote this new kind of relationship if you don't have uh, the basis of uh, a strong technology and an open, by the way, an open model of technology to integrate this new uh, data of uh, relationship. Yes, and, 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 uh, and fortunately we have it and, uh, and we could, uh, we could uh, did it. So you mentioned that information technologies uh, are very important mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to implementing a system in which customers can participate mm -hmm. as citizens yeah. in this republic. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So what specifically does the IT system need to do mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, customers can participate? You have, to, you have to have, as minimum, you have to, to have a strong base of uh, data warehouse and you have to to have uh, 
uh, techniques, uh, abilities in data mining. Those two, those two are the, uh, the, the, the basis. And for sure, it's much better if you have uh, personal accountability to every customer, you know how much are you earning with a customer, etc. Mm? So no, you need to know how much money the bank is making with each customer. Yeah. And could. you need to be able to communicate to each yeah, customer. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, how of much course. money they made. And then what is... We did it. Right. And in your uh, system, what is the customer supposed to do with that information? Uh, can the customer take action yeah. once he or she knows yeah. how much the bank yeah. Yeah. is... Uh, the, sense, the, sen the sense of uh, sending this information is because we recognize uh, the right in the customer of knowing how much the bank is earning with a, a mortgage or the credit card, etc., we recognize the, the, the right to allocate a part of these earnings in the social or community period they want. Okay. okay. So in other words, instead of the bank making the decision as to what uh, corporate social responsibility yeah. initiatives to do yeah. or to undertake, what you're doing is you're delegating that to the customer. The yeah. customer then can choose. Yeah. The bank it's, has made $50 with me. Yeah then I get to say yeah. uh, a fraction of that money, uh, how it is spent on CSR activities. Yeah, yeah. My point on summarizing who's are, which are the companies that are clever be, be, because they reveal the relationship as republics is, is the companies that empower the customers. Summarizing is, is give power to the, the, the customer. Empower your customers upgrade their conditions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Give them additional rights. Yeah. And in your experience, uh, do customers that are given these rights, that are empowered, do they stay more with the bank? Uh, do they uh, increase their loyalty to the yeah. bank? Yeah, 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 of course, of course, of course. They increase the, the, the unloyalty hmm? uh, rate, decrease from 12 till 8. This is the turnover in, in, rate. In, yes, in four years, in four years. But this is this is much more relevant if you consider you have in count that sector, the average in the sector, were increasing. Uh, so so it's very it's very clear. This is an example. Uh, how about, uh, for example, if a company recognize their customers? the right to have an opinion about the bonuses of the managers or the team. Are uh, you doing that in your bank? Yes, we, we, we did it. How does that system work? So well, customers it, 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 it determine how much money executives, yeah, like yourself. Yeah, my, like myself. Yes, yes, yes. And how it does was, it work, the system? Well, uh, this work, this work uh, because we made a very big random survey through even 40,000 customers in a year, asking them questions like, uh, and, 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 and asking them questions like, for example, do you think we are going by you in the bad moments or only the good ones? Do you think we are managing a language you can understand or are incompressible, incompressible jargon to remind that we are powerful and you know? Do you think, um, we believe, uh, we trust in people and we spread optimism. We, do you think we are, uh, are as interested in you as in your money? Please rank us from 0 to 10. Mm -hmm. And the board of directors, every year, they rank a, a classification. For, for example, we need a seven. And two years, we get the seven. But one year, it was 60.6.3. I and I lost 30% lost of my bonus. <laughs> so so th this was real fire. So those customer ratings, essentially, yeah. at least in part, determine the bonuses of yeah. uh, executives at yeah. the bank. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why well, not? It, it is a republic. Yeah, and, and it's good for the shareholder. Because you, you are offering good turnover, good payout, 
uh, good uh, efficiency, etc. And you are giving the the owners of the company that you are building a long-term relationship. And this is not uh, how how to how to offer your shares to be invested if your customers are disappointed with you. Mm-hmm. How can uh, a, a, a responsible chief executive officer make, make, make this? It's impossible. So shareholders, this is not, shareholders can think, this is my right. Who is going to say if my chief executive officer is going to get 100% of the bonus? This is my right. I don't want to share it. But the question is, why not? Why not? Could you also let us know what are the implications uh, of this uh, model of the bank as a, as a republic for the employees of the bank? Mm-hmm. Well, first of all, first of all, the employees didn't believe this, this, uh, this can be true. Yeah. Um, but a, a very relevant part of them, they feel like uh, authentic supporters. They feel that this is something like we're going to do good business by doing good things. So we are going to we are going to go to to do uh, to do it well by doing the good, mm-hmm. the good things. So um, this represents the opportunity to not only be banker or be in another company. This gives you the, the 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 opportunity to feel much more than a brick in the life. In the, in the in the in the in the world of a company, no, you are you are a promoter of a new model of society, mm-hmm. where companies are real citizens, and they promote a new kind of citizeness, a citizenship, and so and so for their employees, it it represents a challenge, because how how to be in one hand. How to say no, and how to say no, but I'm going to remain you, you have right. No, no, no. How to say no and be credible and continue to be confident in the other hand. And you need, you need uh, to believe in this. And you need to uh, want uh, and to trust that this is not because is only a strategy. It's a strategy, of course. This is uh, something that is, is, good, is good for you and is good for the society. Okay. okay. Well, Mr. Goñi, thank you so much mm-hmm. uh, for being with us uh, today. And uh, okay. we wish you uh, lots of success at your bank. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot.